Well, the 4th of July is on Thursday, but we wanted to give you a chance now to make some of your decorations, and that's why our craft expert is here, <laughs> Gina Tepper, and you make some of the most favorite things at the 4th of July holiday, because it's fun. It is fun, and you can make a lot of this stuff with things you already have around your house, and a couple little things, inexpensive things from the craft store, and I am going to show you how. So, this, you have to have a Washington Monument with it. fireworks. You know, I love this thing. This was just a big wax paper box, you know, and I sprayed it with granite paint. This is just tinsel you can get. Everything is on sale right now, so you can buy this stuff really inexpensively. So I just made the Washington Monument. This is an oatmeal container. It's my cookie rocket. I love this it. This is just wrapped with scrapbooking paper. Mm -hmm. This stuff does not cost much mm -mm. to make, and you know, the kids are home from school now, yeah. so get them involved. Now, I wanted to make some fun hats for the, um, How did you do July. this? This is just, I got this really inexpensive hat from mm -hmm. the craft store. This is plastic ribbon, oh, sparkly okay. stuff. Yeah. So if it gets wet, just put it on there. And then I cut nice. out these stars. And you use just oh, that's great. craft glue, uh -huh. and that's all. And look how pretty they are. It's perfect. They're fun and sparkly, so when the fireworks are going off, you can have these. Now these are cool. How did you make these? This, you know, I love my water bottles. This was just a water bottle. Seriously, and, and you just them. cut it? Yeah, and these are my fireworks. So this is a nice display. This doesn't cost anything. You mm -mm. just have some paint. And this is a fun thing to have the kids make. Yeah, so this is the top of the water bottle yeah. that you've used for this. And you just cut them into little strips. And then you painted them all different colors. Yeah, and so this will be a nice display if you're having a party at home. Mm -hmm. Or if you're going out to see the fireworks, you can still put it out. Easy. Fun. And then you can make firecrackers, too. How'd you do that? Oh, this is fun. Now this. Your bubble wrap. I know mm -hmm. everyone likes online shopping, so right. they have bubble wrap. This is a paper towel roll, okay. and you can Get pop your bubble these. wrap in there. Nice. Okay, and you can pop them. You can pop them, and this is okay. great to put at the. All right, perfect. Put your finger in and put pop in. them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You just pop them. Oh yeah. So you do that with them. <laughs> this is fun. That's perfect. Everyone but else. then you made a different kind. This is fun. What? Oh, they're Our stuff is coming out. We reloaded it. We mm -hmm. have to reload. There you go. Okay, this ready to go. This is fun. You just use a balloon. You got a balloon. You have old balloons. A uh, paper towel roll. Put it on there like this. <laughs> nice! Look, there we go. <laughs> it's fun. One, two, do it, do it, do it. One, two, three. Perfect. That's great. <laughs> this is fun. That's a lot of fun. And it's safe because I like safe firework. And pretty bottles. How do we make these? This, you just get a glass, mm -hmm. right with your recycle bin. Okay. You get a glass bottle. Yep. You can use any shape. Okay. Now you need a couple days to let this dry, but it's okay. hot, so it's gonna. You're just gonna drizzle it in on just the inside. Put a little bit in. Okay. And watch it drip. Oh yeah. Ooh yeah, nice. And then you put different colors mm -hmm. in, and it ends up being that. It's you're beautiful. You're much better at this than I am, though. Well, you, you've you, got the drip ratio you down. You can't um, make mistakes on this because it's art. Okay. And it just drips together and it melts to make something beautiful. I love that. <laughs> and I love your little flower pots over here. We have to show those oh, before we go because those are so creative. This is so inexpensive too. You can get these little flower pots mm -hmm. and this is what I did. Okay. I drew lines and look at that. Oh yes, yeah, so you can paint in between the lines. And then you just cut. For those of us who are more challenged. You That's can perfect. cut some foam. Mm -hmm. Some foam. Yeah, put it around it. And craft foam. Yep. Or you can get the red. Okay. I painted it and you said, like, I don't want Oh, yeah, for the hats. And you just okay. put it on there. Yep. And then put and a tea light on tea top. Tea lights. Nice. And I like to use multi surface craft paint. Okay. Because you can paint plastic and it doesn't come off. So I painted the tea Great lights tip, red Gina. and blue. All you right. don't have to paint it white. If we want to follow you, your website <laughs> is ginatepper.com. And I have instructions to make most of this. And if people don't see something they want, just contact me through my website because I love to answer craft questions. Perfect.